Again, I need some Janet on occasion. And today we are carrying on our uh, Mechanicus Crusade. I don't really know what we're doing. Um, some kind of uh, mission. Omnissiah, etc, etc. Uh, mostly we're trying to conquer the planet, I guess. You know, doing Gladius stuff. Just classic Gladius stuff. Um, purge the Xenos. And have a rollicking good time while we do. Hooray! Uh, so anyway, here we are with our Cerberus Sulphur Hounds. Uh, fighting neophyte hybrids. Oh, Warhammer. <laughs> You're so silly. Uh, but yeah, we're done for the turn. So let's crack on and see what's what. Okay, good. They're plodding away. That's good news. I didn't want to have to deal with them. Uh, also, we do have our Skitarii Marshal now. So we do have some hero powers. Although, I mean, it's, how good is this as an attack? I mean, three damage, armor penetration, four, one attack. Like, it... He seems very poor in combat, is the thing. I mean, he's a support unit, clearly. But usually, the hero units are good anyway. I mean, six armor, I guess, is quite good. I mean, it's the same as these guys, and these guys have been taking a lot of damage. So, I don't know. I, I'm a bit disappointed with, with our hero. I'll, I'll say that much. I'm a bit disappointed with our marshal. Little disappointed there. Hopefully, we can upgrade him with technology and items and things. In fact, speaking of items, I should have grabbed some items, shouldn't I? Ah, oh, we should go back there. Because we're not in a huge bind right now. We're not in a huge bind. We're uh, we're pretty safe. Just sort of loitering around here, I think. Um, I think I might also pull this guy back this way. So I can start attacking this webway gate. With him as well. I don't want the Eldari taking that over. That'll be a thorn in my side. That's for sure. Uh, I might send some people south in a bit as well. I want to make sure that one flank is safe enough. Because generally... This early in the game, if I do suddenly get attacked from this side, they're not going to be able to contend with, uh, you know, with our with our colony, basically. Our, our settlement building will just blow them all up. Uh, so I don't have to worry too much about, like, losing ground at this point, just the odd node. But if I'm pushing enough in one direction, then I'm gaining more than I'm losing. So, you know. I'm essentially happy to let my settlement act as one of my flanks while I, while I travel in the other direction. Ooh, hello there. So we have more Skitarii vanguards built, so we triggered the next bit of the quest. Hooray. Uh, you have taken your remaining Skitarii retinue to a derelict hive city, which will be the foundation of your forge. You chose this location with a reason. At its heart, an ancient titan frame left here at the time of the planet's conquest. If resurrected, it would be unstoppable. Awesome, we're gonna get some titans, huh? That's pretty sick. You order Benedict to oversee its renovation. Benedict Majos Gerontocrat Benedict Sarkerdos Quo Vedis, to say their full name, is a worry. It's a worry if I have to say that every time. Hopefully it'll just be Benedict from now on. Or Benny. Just, just Benny is fine. You have suspected their loyalty ever since the rebellion on uh, Unanisia 4. There, in the moment of your triumph over the heretic cultists, they displayed something akin to emotion. You would have rid yourself of them, but their permissions match your own. Indeed, you suspect that they somehow exceed them. Archmajos, request production multiplication essential. 1. Manufactorum Cybernetica Proximity. 2. Production Line Efficiency. Approval? Uh, yes, much approval. Wow. So, research Manufactorum Cybernetica. And then build, build 2 on the same tile, and then get a Tier 3 upgrade. Cool. So, sadly... Uh, we haven't even done that yet. We haven't uh, we haven't done this. So we'll get this done, so we can get quicker research, and then we'll get that done. Oh, it's quicker research depending on nodes that we have, and I'm not sure we actually have any research enabling um, outposts, which is a bit weak currently, but I wanted to make sure that I got that in time, because I know it'll pay off once we start grabbing those. Um, so, you know, was it perfectly timed? No, but of course it wasn't going to. It'll be, it'll be beneficial when it is. I know, weird phrasing, but you know what I mean. Aha! Brilliant, let's go grab that. There's a lot of Promethean pipes around here. Heck of a lot. Maybe there's a refinery. One of those uh, subterranean refineries here. Auto refineries. Uh, so let's get another Cerberus Sulphur Hound. Sounds really good to me. Want to get another one queued? Now I'll save the ore for now. Alright, you can attack that. I could have been buffing them, actually. But, uh... A bit late now. 
bit late. Let's go buy some stuff. We have plenty of influence to spend, which is lovely. Alright, now what are you guys doing? Well, they're wandering off. That's good news. I'd <laughs> love to see it. So, Xenorite acceptance. It seems the Xenorite tech priests from Stygis 8 are having their way on Gladius Prime 2, setting up observation units and drones at every outpost to understand the Xenos better. The practical applications in terms of research are immediately obvious. Cool. Cool stuff. Uh, and yes, that doesn't give us anything there, so it is just going to augment uh, outposts that already give us research. But that's okay. So, shop. Let's have a look. So what could we get? I could uh, I could go nuts with the um, armor. Could slow enemies down. I could I get a recovery package. Charge is one of one though, so we can only use that the one time, and then that'll be it, which is a bit rubbish. I prefer things we can use uh, regularly. Okay, what are these one? Much bigger armor there. Um, healing rate and hit points sounds quite nice. Volcanist Shroud. Witch Fire Damage Reduction. Stun Grenades would be useful, actually. Powered Gauntlet. Extra damage. I mean, is that going to be particularly useful? I feel like he doesn't do enough damage to have, like, a percentage damage buff really feel worthwhile. Plus 50% damage. Hang on. Uh, item increase damage to the next melee attack. Item increase this. The melee damage. Oh, is that... Okay, that's passive. This one I have to activate. So, okay, fair enough. I can do that with three turns. Extra morale. Alright, what are the really expensive things? Um, increases influence output. Just having that would be really handy. Uh, increases research. That's really good too, considering we're not getting much research yet. Yeah, I might do something like that. Although, Jikero Digital Weapon. It's a free action. It's a free action. Range one tile, but it packs a wallop. That might be an interesting one to have. I mean, there's quite a few bits here that are quite cool. Life steal. Don't think that's going to matter much. Um. All right, what I'm going to get is the scrolls of Magnus. So these illuminated pages of skin of fragments of the repository of sorcery compiled by the Primarch of the Thousand Suns and contain arcane lore from across the galaxy. None possess them for long and remain sane, for they have their own ghastly sentience. Oh, lovely! That sounds great. Let's get the scrolls of Magnus. Okay, and we're gonna we're gonna have that equipped. Um, hang on a minute. Cooldown of one turn, range self, passive action. Oh, it's one. It's a cooldown of one turn because it has to equip. It takes a turn to equip. Is what it's saying. I was like, do I have to activate that? What are you talking about? But no. So that's fine. So we'll get uh, we'll double our research, thanks to that, which is sort of insane. It really shows how poor our research is right now. But uh, yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm glad I ran back. Now I just need to make sure he doesn't get killed. Uh, what is his upkeep? His upkeep is two food and four influence. I'm worth trading that for six research. With that in mind, he could just sit there for the rest of the campaign, and he'll be paying for himself. <laughs> like I'll be happy with that. Uh, all right, we're going to attack with just you, because I want these guys to heal up a bit. So yeah, I'm going to attack that again later. There's not any real rush to destroy that, honestly. I'd be very surprised if the Eldari decided to take that over now. Very. Uh, we are about to get some more of those doggos, though, so that's good news. Let's get another one queued up. Okay, that'll do. Choose Research Manufactorum Cybernetica, because we need that for our mission. All right, now what are you guys going to do, huh? What are you guys going to do? Nothing, apparently. Oh, hello. Hi there. Well, I'm going to kill them this turn. Oh, and good. Some Overwatch. Thank you, Mr. Building. I'll try and finish them off with our settlement first. That's not quite going to kill them, sadly. And I'm certainly sad about it. Oh, and there's more to grab over there, too. I'm glad we are finally able to actually scout out now. Oh, we can't quite reach that this turn. Oh. Gutted. If only they got pooped out the other side. I mean, I could have done that. I could have set a waypoint. Didn't think about it. And, ow! Rude. Rude much. Uh, so, more of those battle doggos coming. Okay, you can finish that off. Good. And, yeah, I guess that's that then, huh? 
Cool. Uh, you can... Oh, actually, yeah, you know what? You can come down here and finish this guy off. You should be able to kill them. Bang, 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 bang. Stab. Good job. Good job, mate. Good job. Sadly, though, we have lost that food. But we're still earning quite a bit. So I'll take it. Thanks to these lovely farms. <laughs> they don't look so great, do they? No, they do not. No, they do not. Lovely. Anyway, uh, so we can start building some more stuff. So what am I going to build? Because ideally I need to keep spamming particular things in particular places. Uh, let's start getting some ore from this one. Yeah, that seems sane, right? Why the heck not? So yeah, let's acquire that tile. It's not going to take long. Uh, right, now you... Oh, no, you guys have already moved. As have you. Alright, that'll do. Let's crack on. Neophyte hybrid still chilling. He's on his way back. The cybernetica data smith. Alright, let's move in. And, alright, he is going to shoot us. But only a bit, right? Like, only a little bit. Yeah, only, only a little bit. Okay, now that we're here, I think I might want to finish these guys off. There are more units. If we lose the doggos, I'll be very sad. But, uh, I can take it. I can take it. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, it'll be fine. Probably. It'll probably definitely be fine. One more turn, we'll get more. So yeah, we'll send more north. Get a bunch of these doggos. Then we can just ambush everything. Uh, right, you head over this way. Crap. Hi. Hi there. At least we moved next to them. And more grocs, so more food. That's good news. And we should do good damage here. Good. Excellent. So, how are you enjoying that radiation? In fact, uh, these guys will take uh, another one damage three times. Isn't that fun? Thanks to the fact that we have uh, rad saturated them. So, we got the. We found some ruins of Vool as well. Where do we find the ruins of Vool? Oh, is that up? No. That's up here. Excellent. Let's have a look. Ruins of Vool. It's unclear what this is. Some time-worn structure rearing up from the shattered surface, made from the same impenetrable materials, the rare artifacts that dot the planet. Much can be learned merely from studying it, and perhaps it still houses some secrets itself. Hmm. Fancy. And Grok's Pasture. Around heat stones, alien storytellers muse about the Groks, the dangerous herd animal that is ubiquitous throughout human lands. Wherever man goes, the hardy Groks travels with him, or is there before him. Some joke that the Groks was the old one's most successful creation. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha. How, how witty. How very witty. Alright, let's crack on. So what's your game? Nope. Oh, shrouded, huh? Oh no. Oh no, thank you. Oh, don't blow up my horse dog. Okay, good. He didn't kill my horse dog. And those are new. Those are new ones. God, there are so many barbarians in our lands. I really can't afford to split up at all, can I? I really can't. I mean, I've got to pull back from here completely, because these Castellan robots are way too powerful, and we're completely outnumbered. So yeah, we need to pull back. We need to pull back. So anyway, Manufactorum Cybernetica. A tech priest's Manufactorum is leagues ahead of its standard Imperial equivalent. Not technologically, of course. The cult mechanicus considers it more important to safeguard the technology they have, and improving it is a, is a Xenorite heresy that only Cool himself might consider. Instead, this building has superior rituals, unguents, chants, libations, and so forth. In other words, the maintenance staff knows what they're doing, even though they don't know what they're doing, but they... It's maintenance through ritual, <laughs> rather than actually, you know, knowing why they're doing any of the things that they're doing. The Imperium's dumb. So, uh, right, you there. Let's head up this way. Alright, you're going to try and help kill these jerks. Uh, I think we need to run away with you as well, which is a pity. But it, it's just how it is. It's just how it is. Alright, now you're going to push up this way as well. There's some more... Flipping Croot Hounds over there, which I'll kill on the way if I see them. Uh, do I want my Marshal to follow? I think I do. I think I do. I'm glad these guys survived, though. It's good news. 
Do I want more Cerberus Sulfur Hounds? I'm going to say yes. I think I think we do. I think we do. Now let's get... I'm always tempted to just get a bunch of tech. I know our technology is rubbish, but I can just stack it in one spot, can't I? And we will eventually get somewhere with it. Because we do have a fair bit of ore left. So actually, I'm going to acquire another tile. This one, we do get 20% extra food here. But there's four building slots, and I can just cram it with research. I know I can get more building slots from these others if I clear the forests, but I don't want to spend all the time doing that. I'm going to go all in with research, seeing as how we have enough ore to maintain production of the stuff that we currently have. In fact, what is your upkeep? Only food for these guys. Apparently, these dog horses only have food. They're fine with it. Which is very odd. That They just eat. So, Castellan Robot. Of course, we need to go say hi. Hello, Castellan Robot. What's your deal? Castellan Robots are ancient monstrosities that stamped a war. Such an unliving giant assigned to deadly purpose by its master. Solus, these metallic golems are given thought only by the Doctrina wafers in their recess, uh, recessed chest slots. And uh, the cybernetic data smiths that program their every move. Uh, these machines are walking relics from eons past, and all the deadlier for it. The air nearby thrums with power, bullets ricocheting from repulsor fields that glow like golden cages around them. Volleys of, phos uh, volleys of phosphor blasts and promethium incinerate their foes wherever they may hide. The crushing fists bring ruin wherever they strike. The violence meted out by each maniple is, an ins uh, is as inspiring to the Omnisire's faithful as it is terrifying to his foes. Well, isn't that fun? Big, programmable kill machine. Not AI, though. Very important distinction. It's not AI, as far as they consider it to be. So, let's have a look. Although they're probably willing to um, forego any comparison to AI with this thing, because it kills stuff for them. And so far, hasn't tried to kill them. Uh, let's have a look. Choose research. Do, 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 do. Let's get... I mean, we will need more habitats, actually. What's the... We are maxed out on population, so yeah, we really do need that researched. That's a bit annoying. Yeah, we need to build that somewhere. I mean, I guess I could just build one somewhere else. I don't need to necessarily stack up everything. Because we're not going to be able to get much out of our settlement if we don't have the population to do it. So, yeah. It's not ideal, is it? No, it is not. So what affects growth, anyway? Uh, growth. I mean, it's not going to tell me a breakdown of it, because currently it's at zero because we're maxed out, so that doesn't really help us. I would quite like to see a breakdown of what's affecting it at the moment. Um. Okay, I guess everyone's good to go. Not much else we can do. Uh, I don't like this much. And he can reach us. Uh, please don't all die. Thanks. Yeah, these guys are real jerks. There's a reason why I was so excited to get some. Uh, okay, we're going to shoot those crew towns. Okay, I don't want to lose territory, especially when it's right on the edge here. This is a nice, easy spot to uh, to keep. Well, supposedly. Alright, you head inside, you head outside. And... I mean, there's probably crew hounds in here somewhere. We are on the edge of the map, so... You know, that's good news. Should be able to get these grocks and whatever that is as well. Another webway gate to destroy, but if we follow the edge of the map, we're less likely to bump into anything dangerous. Although that's this isn't even particularly central, and we're bumping into these Castellan robots. Pretty awful. Oh, also, I did see uh, Castellan robot. We can actually build them at tier 3, which is kind of nuts. That feels quick to me. Onager Dune Crawler. That sounds cool. I don't actually know a lot of the... Um, uh, the Mechanicus uh, units. I don't really know many. Because Mechanic uh, me yeah, Mechanicus wasn't a faction <laughs> back when I followed the tabletop for 40k. When I was, like, 7. So, yeah. I don't really know much about their specific units. You know, in terms of war, I know a bit about them from playing Mechanicus. But Mechanicus didn't have their tabletop roster. It just had their infantry, basically. And Castellan robots were in that, too. So that's being built. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting surprised. I'm looking forward to it. So let's get some research. And let's move. 
Ow. No dying. Okay. No dying. If you die and fail the Omnisire, then I will kill you. It's a, it's a good threat, right? That, does, that, does that work? <laughs> Alright, everybody in. Everybody in. We're probably... I think we can just survive, actually. If we do this, if we if we stay here and keep attacking. They might attack us again. I'm giving them an out, which actually I probably shouldn't do. I probably shouldn't have done that. But I also don't want to get snuck up on by something over here. But uh, hopefully it'll go for this. Or something. I really don't know. I don't know where it'll go. But yeah, these guys are going to have to heal anyway. And now we have nothing queued. Maybe just get some Skitari Vanguard. They're a little cheaper than the Cerberus Sulphur Hounds. Though I can't really see them having any any advantage over the Sulphur Hounds. So I think I will just keep getting Sulphur Hounds. I think that's the way to go. I think that's the way to go. Speaking of which, do I want to kill these things? Or these things? You know, I'm going to attack here with them. And these guys can attack over here. As long as I sort of devastate these units, then we're laughing, you know? Oh, crap. More watching over there. Hopefully our Skitari Marshal is doing okay. And that finishes them off. They'll take that next turn. They're probably going to run away, which is fine, honestly. It'll do. Okay, what's next? Next turn is what's next. Oh, that one just died thanks to the, the radiation thing. You know, that radiation thing, what we do. <laughs> you know the one. Uh, seriously, damage over time effects are really handy for dealing with units like this that are usually like a real pain. Like a serious nuisance to deal with. Okay, more enemies up here, including some very damaged neophyte hybrids. So we are a little injured over here. I think I will not attack, because I, I want to make sure we have that overwatch. And if you attack, use your action, you don't get an overwatch. As far as I remember it, anyway. Okay, let's do another power surge. Because that'll be beneficial, probably. Good, 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 good. We'll get some more research soon. Oh, and you can move again. Where should we put you? I'm not really sure. Let's charge in here. See if we can spot anything. So there is another Ruin of Vool over here. It's not been taken by any uh, other faction yet, so it's worth grabbing. And then we'll give us extra research as well. So hopefully, we can start really going mad on research and, and skip ahead of our opponents in terms of uh, our tech level. Hopefully. Even though that's not really the point of us. Although we kind of... It is and it isn't, because, you know, everything in 40k is oxymoronic. So, you know, we're the technology people. How dare you advance anything? No. <laughs> Bad. Did you sing your hymns to, to electric? It's, they're dumb. They're idiots. Anyway, let's crack on. Okay, so off they run. Good news. And we've got a hab thing. Uh, what happened over there? I just I just heard a pew 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 pew. At least I thought I did. Or was it something stomping? I don't know. It is hard to think of an alien race uh, that might prove approve of a hive world's living conditions, perhaps the subterranean hrud. Yet, to the Adeptus Mechanicus, they are ideal. They seek to replicate their efficiency in their own housing units, cramming workers, servitors, and skitarii into living quarters so tight that violence would seem assured, were it not for behavioural engineering and surgery. Oh, joy. Don't you just love tyranny? All right, in you get, guys. In you get. Uh, you stay there. You're very hurt. You're brand new. You're brand new. Squeaky clean. So you can head over that way. You can keep inching forwards. Do I inch forward with him as well? Or do I try and get in with the Skitari Marshal first? I wonder. Because um, he does have damage reduction, is the thing. So he does have a huge amount of armor. Oh, oh, hang on, he's got Feel No Pain and Hero. So yeah, massive damage reduction. Okay, so that's fine. 
Okay, so I think the six armors are great, but no, he is, he is as durable as uh, as the, the folks who came before him. So that's baited the Overwatch, and I can come in and finish these guys off and take this temple. And then I guess you can attack the Webway Gate, because this Xenos Archeo, you know, uh, Archeotech is, is very uh, disconcerting to followers of the Omnisire, which may or may not be the, the the Emperor of Man. If they were having a conversation with the Space Marine, they'd say he totally was. Otherwise, maybe not. So, you can stay there. Uh, and I guess you can get something leveled up, huh? Servo Skull uplink for the extra damage might be nice. Edict Control. What's this last one? Enriched Rounds. Oh, lovely. Because obviously they're all using, essentially, like, depleted uranium. Uh, bullets. This will enrich them. Uh, so yay. Fun. God, these people are awful. Sanctified with the Trifold Litany. Each of the Trifold Litany. The the Trifold is the the, the the nuclear symbol. The three tri it's the Trifold. Anyway, each of these slugs has spent a decade in the oldest and most irradiated forge temple to certify their lethality. Ugh, when the marshal hands them out to his manipals, they know they must make every shot count. Well, yep, can't wait for that. Plus 50% damage to, to a unit. Every two turns you can do that. Jeez. Okay, let's get uh, Control Edict, I suppose. Consumes action and movement. I don't really know what that does. Great, I'm going to get Servo Skill Uplink. I get the thing that seems more obvious. We also have unclaimed claimed items. Okay, good, you can have that then. There you go. He's got a recovery package now. He can heal with it when he's in a bind. Alright, now let's have a look. Let's get you building and let's get more technology, shall we? We are starting to need some energy, though. We are getting to a point where we might need to get some energy buildings, too. So, let's... Uh, let's acquire another tile. For energy. Yeah. Sounds good. Although that would give us more influence, which would be nice. We still haven't taken this over, you see. We haven't absorbed that into our, you know, city. But let's grab this one here. And we'll start getting energy there. Well, we'll do one more. Yeah, we'll we'll do one more. Actually, we can start getting the, ma the Manufactorum Cybernetica. We should probably start that soon. Though we don't have the ore for it, so we actually need to start getting ore. Which I was going to put here, wasn't I? There's a lot to do. There's a lot to do. It's it's because I'm being encouraged to build tool. I just build like a lot of the same thing. But we do need variety. Because we still only have the one city and it's the start of the campaign. So there is that. But also, kinda wanna I want all the things. <laughs> I just want all the things, okay? Uh Castellan Robot. We get this from the Manufactorum Cybernetica. So let's try and get that build. Protector Imperative. Increases ranged accuracy, but decreases the melee accuracy of Doctrina Imperative's units. Cost scales with amount of effective units up to 10. Okay. Still, I don't know how that scales up or down, I'm not sure. Proto Servitor Cradle. Building that increases loyalty. Ooh. Adjacency Integration. Increases the building research output for each building in an adjacent tile. Ooh. In an adjacent tile. Huh. That, I don't know if that'll be useful to us or not. Because we don't have a bunch of research buildings in a bunch of adjacent tiles yet. But, yeah, let's get the Castellan robot going. He seems fun. <laughs> Just, yeah, he seems fun. That's my reason for getting things at the moment. Because we're feeling our way around. And that's the thing, with this game you can kind of make do with whatever. Any tech you do is kind of pushing you in the right direction, so... Do whatever you like. You know, play it your way. Feel it out. And try and make best use of what you have. That's why I quite like this game. It never feels like I'm, I'm hamstringing myself with any, any particular action. Outside of, you know, getting myself cornered and murdered to bits and losing a bunch of units. Something else over here, too. Oh, we just found a powered gauntlet as well. What, do you want that as well? Get, get all the things. There we go. Have fun. And now do I want to jump in and get these Vespid Stingwings? I will be able to take half the health off, which is pretty good. Uh, actually, I can do more than that. Let's use Aggression Override on you. And now let's see how much we can do. 
Yeah, we killed three out of five of them. I like the sound of that. They will be able to hit us with an overwatch, but I don't think they'll be able to kill one of our units. So we should still have maximum, um, you know, a attack here. Yeah, there's still two models, so we're good. And that really messed them up. Now, can I finish them off? Not quite, but almost. Almost is good enough for me. Pretty much takes them out of action. So, one more turn and we'll get another unit to traipse off with. So, there is some terrain that we can't cross here. But, I mean, if we get to this area with both of our units, they can team up against any any threats they encounter. I'm surprised we still haven't bumped into any, like, enemy factions. Because there's, what, six? There's seven. There's seven people sharing this map, right? It's me and six AI. So, there's a lot crammed into a very small space. Now, we haven't seen any of them yet. Which makes me wonder if just the neutral enemies are keeping everybody really busy. Could be the case. Alright, execute queued orders. Alright, you just stay there then. And get shot. Lovely. Love that. Big fan. Jerks. <laughs> They're healing up. How are you lot doing? Those are both still healing. But we do have a lot of units now. We have quite a few units. And still plenty of food. So we can field a lot more. Oh, you cheeky. We're probably going to lose one. Yep, we lost one, so that's going to halve the damage we can do. Wow, they're very hurt. And there's those Kroot. You cheeky boys. And they have Infiltrate, which means that we don't actually get a Overwatch shot when they move. I'm going to move here. Okay, that's fine. I wanted to make sure that I was in the ruins in case I did bump into anybody. I want to make sure I didn't take additional damage. So we've had a Shard of Vool, which is different. So the Shard of Vool is different to the... Uh, 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 what are it? Ruins of all? Yeah. So just a shard, which is different. Gets us power and ore. Um, I guess because it's not in operation, so we can't really study it, but it's incredibly valuable materials. So, um, shard of all. Before the warp storm, when man ruled the planet, these great outcrops were a curiosity and an attraction, like Cadia's pylons. Yet whilst the warp stone rages overhead, they tremble with an unkind power that foolhardy races may seek to tap. Cool cool stuff. Uh, now, let's get these guys... You know, I have no idea where I want to be. Uh, this is a bit of a problem. So, yeah, let's get you heading north up into this area. I think pushing into the corner is a good idea. Because obviously the further you are from the middle, the less likely you are to bump into sort of decent, um, sort of neutral enemies. And again, neutral enemies, I keep saying. But you know what I mean. It's the neutral faction. It doesn't belong to a faction, but it doesn't mean that they are neutral. They will certainly try and kill you. Um, but yeah, you bump into fewer powerful units on the edges of the map. So going to this corner might be a quite... Yeah, there might be quite a few resources that I could get hold of. Which would definitely help me out. So I guess I'll just attack them. It's better than nothing. Yeah, it's better than nothing. In a brawl, we should be able to uh, just about win. Do I want to keep him in the fight? I feel like they could wipe me out pretty easily. So I do want to retreat. And if I attack, then it's going to use up my movement as well. And I will only kill one, so I think they could still kill me in a turn. So I will try and retreat with them. They could easily chase me, but it depends if they could still see me in the trees there. Hopefully I can escape. I'd, I'd rather not lose a unit. Even though we do have others. But I can just cycle them out, let them heal up, you know. Don't have to throw them away for no reason. Even though we can recruit them pretty quickly these days. Uh, although not that quickly. Okay, you know what? This gets us a bit of everything. I'm just going to build it here, I think. I'll build a couple. And then I'll build more ore buildings. Oh, what did I build that for? Was that for power and that was for ore? I guess it doesn't really matter. But that gives us extra influence, and this does make a little bit of influence, so I might as well do that. Might as well put it there. So four turns, we can start getting some tanks and such. Although once we've got tanks, we will need more power. We will need more power. And, in fact, that is going to be using power as well. So, okay, once that's built, we'll need to build power here. We're juggling a lot of stuff. It would be nice if we just found more nodes that could give us some things. You know, more outposts to build. Like that would be nice. Extra power and ore. I'd like that. I'd like that a lot. So you stay where you are. You stay where you are. 
Use... I mean, I could attack that, but I, I don't want to draw attention to myself. Alright, off he trots. And... Oh, oh, no. They found me. Oh, no, we're good. We're okay. The trees gave us enough damage reduction, I think. Phew. Research complete on the Castellan robot. I'll be another three turns before we can actually build one, but that's fine. I'm happy to wait three turns and start construction of one of these. Provided we have ore, we might not have enough ore, honestly. Castellan robots are ancient monstrosities that stamp to war. Each and every living giant assigned a deadly purpose by its master. We actually read all of this when we saw the, the, the neutral one, but still. Um, yeah, you can kill one. I think we still need to keep running with them. Because, uh, yeah, we can't quite finish them off. I really wonder if two health is enough. Oh my god, they can't kill us. They can't kill us with the health they've got. That's amazing. We survived. We survived, guys. My word. Alright, so let's get you out. Whoops. Good. Alright, you start heading up there into the trees. The Castellan robot's back. Oh, please stop it. Please. Please go away. Um, how do we take him over, anyway? That's what I want to know. Because I couldn't see any research that lets us do that. So, like, how do we take them over? Because um, I'm, not, I'm not sure. Because it did say we have the ability to take them over, but... With what? You know? With what? I have no idea. Not a clue. Is it like further this way? That's armor penetration. Uh, increased research output of non headquarters buildings. Some infiltrators there. Yeah, I have no idea. Chant of the Remorseless Fist. Increases melee accuracy. Not that either. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I have no idea. Not a clue. We'll have to work that out. We'll have to work that out. It might be I'll stand next to it and then there's just a button will appear next to my guys. Is it that? That's rad saturation. Which is just impacting you all the time. I really have no idea, you know? Not a clue. Not a clue. I really wish I did. Because I want to take some over. Uh. Yeah, no idea. We'll figure it out. And if we don't, eh, we're doing alright. <laughs> we'll survive, I'm sure. Uh, I want to scout this way. Okay, good. That is the edge. More things to grab down there. And there's a relic. Excellent. Those relics are really good. Those artifacts, rather. So this artifact is clearly of old one design, but despite that, has no immediate effect until combat is joined, whereupon a psychic roar shakes the warp, and all living races feel themselves driven into a frenzy of bloodlust. Even the soulless necrons are driven to greater efforts, albeit by the sight of their ancient enemies' designs. Alright, so passive action. Uh, what do you do? What, what do you do in particular? <laughs> Specifically. I guess we'll just have to take it over and see what it does to our boys. Uh... Okay. You stay there. You stay there. And that'll do. Order cities. Oh, right. Okay. And build another one of them. Yeah. Yeah. More hounds. And let's choose some research. So let's do... Increases the building research output for each building on adjacent tile. Increases the ranged accuracy, but decreases the melee, melee accuracy of Doctrine Imperative's units. Eh... We need that for loyalty later on. I really don't know what we get here. None of this seems particularly useful. Uh, although this stuff does. So what do we need here? We need sub-cloister. Yeah, where, where do we get a sub-cloister from? Sub-cloister, it's research. I'm an idiot. Builder that produces tech priests. Yeah, we kind of need that. We kind of need that. So let's get that. And ineffectually get shot by him. Perfect. Ooh, these are awful. I hate those. These things are horrible. The uh, psycho nuin. Not very nice. And enslavers as well. Oh god, there's enslavers. 
Oh, I don't like it. Let's read up on them and you can see why. So, during the war in heaven, legend tells of the Old Ones engineered new warp-sensitive species to defeat the Catan. Crook, Eldari, Man, and more. Yet they bargained without the denizens of the warp, the most numerous of which were the enslavers, or sirens. These trans-dimensional beings were able to rapidly enslave the new races, and hence aided in the downfall of the Old Ones. Today, enslaver incursions are rare, but extremely destructive unless ended quickly. Pretty awful. Pretty awful. Ugh. Big trans-dimensional brain boys. Ugh. And also the uh, psycho Nuin. Here, a rare warp-sensitive creature, apparently native to Prospero, the psycho Nuin seems it, uh, capable of travel throughout the Old Ones' webways, meaning they're widely distributed around the galaxy. Parallel evolution has resulted in a wasp-like appearance, but a mature adult's significant strength, speed, toughness, and rumored ability to turn insubstantial at will makes them a threat to any sentient being. Yeah. Yeah, they suck. Uh, they also have lots of attacks. They're very good against, like, groups of enemies, I find. Um, yeah, they're horrible. I don't like them. Although... It could just be, like, early game panic. You know, these guys might be able to kill them in, in seconds. Who can say? Uh, these guys, though, real problem. Because these guys, the enslavers, they have it on a cooldown, but... Uh, where is it? No, nope, not Psychic Lash. Although they can penetrate all armor, which is awful. Uh, enslavement. Here we go. Every three turns, they can um, take control of a target enemy. Which is awful. Really bad. Not good stuff. So it says weak-minded. I think it just means not a hero, but I could be wrong. Where did you come from? How are you here? Come over here so I can kill you. Thanks. Good stuff. So they're very injured, and uh, they'll take some extra damage from their rad saturation. Which is good news. But yeah, I don't know what to do about these guys, because if I let them get near me, they're just going to take over a unit. You have to gang up on them. The beautiful thing is, if you do manage to kill them, then any unit that had been mind-controlled goes back to its original owner. So, it's not the end of the world. It's just... It just sucks. <laughs> so, let's get you up there. Let's get you up here. Do I want to let this guy... You know what? I don't. Let's have you do it so you can get some experience. Alright, you head back home. And you guys can... Uh, go down that way. There's some weird, like frame rate issues. Like, my cursor is sort of skipping a bit. I'm not entirely sure why. I did it again. Why are you doing that? Recording seems fine. Just this game has some weird, um, some slightly strange issues with, with stability at times. I've noticed. You know, it doesn't really matter. It's turn-based. Like, it plays fine. But occasionally, it'll just have, like, a weird hiccup. Because, obviously, this is not that intensive a game for, uh, for a computer. So, you know, it's just some weird little hiccups that it has. But I do always wonder what causes that. Uh, let's get you moving, shall I? No, there's still Castellan robots up here. I kind of want to gang up on them. Although we are actually starting to take some territory now, you know? We do have troops kind of all over the place, which feels good. I feel like if an enemy turns up, you know, an enemy player turns up, we could easily, easily counter them. Oh, the fact there are recruit hounds down there as well. Even more of them. You really want to catch the slavers on their own and, like, all at once. You just want to dive on top of them and, and wipe them out. That was really nice. Talk about diving on top of things and wiping them out. That was that was textbook. Well played, boys. Okay, sub-cloister. And another one just died because of the, <laughs> the rat damage. That's amazing. It's actually going to lose the last one next turn, I think. So a sub-cloister serves as a shelter and school for new tech priests. Here, promising acolytes from the planet's uh, hive cities are trained in the many secrets of the cult Mechanicus. Over time, if they survive, they find their cooling, emerging as lonely, uh, lowly engine seers, fanatical electro-priests, cybernetic data smiths, or any of, the, uh, any of a myriad other non-combat specializations. Cool stuff. Cool stuff indeed. Uh, right. I suppose you should finish them off. You move up. Uh, you're healed now, so that's good news. You can start moving through the ruins to get line of sight through there. And let's see. One more turn, and we'll have the Manufactorum Cybernetica. I really want to get a Castellan robot. Really want to get one of those. Because I think it'll be fun. 
Also, I can destroy this webway gate before I move on, even though I would like to move on. You know, explore more of this corner. There's potentially a lot of fun stuff up there. And I feel like if there was another AI uh, player up here, we would have spotted them. We would have met them by now. Like, surely, right? Surely. So I feel like it's fair game up there. Okay, the enslavers went away. But that doesn't mean they're gone. Doesn't mean they're gone. Yeah, having just a third unit down here is going to make me feel a lot better. And getting rid of this will make me feel a lot better, because it means we don't have to go around it to pounce on anything, you know? It give us a bit more room to run in and get work done. Uh, so that's empty right now. Okay, I think we're good. Let's choose some research. Which is going pretty quickly right now, actually. Um, electro priest. Do you want an electro priest or a tech priest? So, self-reliant canticles of the Omnissiah hero unit with a scouting ability and damage buffs. Or, canticles of the Omnissiah uh, melee infantry unit that increases its damage reduction by killing units. Well, they both sound fun, I guess. So, I mean, scouting does sound useful. I think getting a scout would probably be best. Uh, so there's actually a few different ones. So we got the the original guy, the 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 what the hell's your name? The marshal. That's the one. I think matriarch. That's all right. So there's a the marshal. There's a tech priest. There's a, a fulgurite electro priest and a tech priest dominus. There's plenty of different tech priests, which is pretty cool. So we should try and get one of each and just have them run around and you know. Get work done, basically. The more, the merrier. Mostly. Alright, let's crack on. Then we get some Castellan robots, which I'm assuming enslavers can't touch, because what are they going to do? Take over its mind? What mind? Never you mind. Okay, good. We'll have that down in a jiffy, and we can move there and pounce everything else on top of it. Hopefully these guys will just keep their distance. Hopefully. Alright, let's get another one down here. I bet what we'll end up doing is all these guys will come down here and we'll bump into something that's like a tank, and we'll have no armor penetration for any of this. Although Sulphur Breath has four armor penetration, which is actually pretty good. The horse's breath is the most dangerous weapon. Just the exhaust from the, from the vehicle, basically. Ridiculous. And yet, kind of perfect. Suits the faction perfectly. Uh, so that'll do. Now let's see here. We can get produce Iron Strider uh, Ballistarius. Iron Strider Ballistarii, a peerless marksman, stalking at their, uh, storing at the, stalking at the fringes of each Skitarii manip uh, maniple. The Bal's the Ballastarii hunt down enemy commanders and spiritual leaders, knowing that to slay such individuals in an efficient way to degrade the enemy's operative capabilities. Equally capable of disabling the war engines of the enemy, these unmatched riflemen will trample down those who block their passage until they have the perfect vantage point for their shot. Sounds really fun, actually. Uh, but of course we have the Castellan robots as well. So extremely durable and heavily armed canticles of the Omnissiah combat walker unit. That's going to cost us 20 energy to, uh, to field in the first place. And then it's going to be 3 upkeep, which is going to put us into very dangerous territory. But we have quite a lot of energy saved up, luckily. So we can go ahead and get one of those. I would like to get some Iron Strider as well. Just because they sound interesting. And having a Scout Walker unit is going to be really useful. You know, I can only imagine that would be a good thing. Uh, we can also keep getting more insane dog horses. Brilliant. And no, we can't because I want to build something. We can't afford anything, can we? No, we can't. Uh, it's going to take seven turns. Seven turns to build. So we actually have plenty of time to get more energy buildings out. So I may as well get that moving now. Cool. Okay. Everyone happy? I mean, you guys haven't moved yet. Do I want to move you yet? Yes? Let's move you out first. All right, there's a there's a lad. So this could be very grave, because the Castellan robot might be like right, right there, and we don't have much going on <laughs> up here. Most of our troops have been running south, and this guy's running all the way home, taking forever. 
All right. Order units, you stay where you are. And yeah, we're going to wait here. Although I guess I could clear a tile while I'm here, couldn't I? I sure could. Okay, let's um, clear one of those. Oh, it takes two turns. That's fine. Still would be a waste of energy to do that. Enslavers are back. This guy's back. And so is his friend that's taken damage. He's taken some damage. I wonder where from. Also, ow. Yeah, I don't know who's done him damage. Please stop. Please. <laughs> Leave me alone. Uh, so I can try and just take this on, but it's going to hurt, is the problem. And I don't want to be hurt. I mean, I could start trying to gang up on it, couldn't I? Could I take it down in time? I feel like probably not. So do I just try and kill this guy and run for it? Yeah, I think I might just attack this guy and, and run. We might be able to kill him. Let's give it a go. Okay. Is that going to finish him off? <laughs> Not quite. So close. He's going to run away, isn't he? Look at that. Look at that. Uh, so I need to retreat with him. With them, rather. Still a few alive. Um, Alright, let's move you guys a bit. Okay. You guys do that. Uh, I think maybe I need to send this guy north now. I think three might be uh, enough down here. Might have to be. Yeah, I think I'll leave them as is. So you can head up that way. You can head this way. Almost home. So much forest in this area. It's very annoying. Progress is slow. Okay. Good. So, uh, I realise I've already gone well over the 45 minutes that I was aiming for. I always do this in Gladius. I always end up going over time. Just because, like, I, it's, it's that one more turn mentality. You know? We've all been there. We've all been there. We've all played Civ. So, yeah, this is this is where we're going to end it. I still want to do something else. I'm still like, should I move him? No, we're ending the turn. We're ending the episode, rather. Episode's over. Look, see? I hit the HUD. That means the episode's over. That's how you know. So, guys, if you enjoyed this, comment, like, subscribe. And remember, if you want to pick up the DLC, go to nexus.gg slash Janet, and you can pick it up from me. It all helps the channel out. Brilliant. Thanks in advance for that. Great. You're the best. Love you. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Have a good one.